Hey everybody, I am back up in Red Rock Canyon, spot I found a few weeks ago, and I was up here with somebody that time, just like any other time up here, I usually come up here with somebody, and usually the time goes by really quickly, but today, well, it's about 103 degrees, we have some clouds, Looks like some rain to the north, so we're going to have to keep our eye on things. But I am planning to spend the rest of the day up here trying to stay cool. I have a lot of water with me. Pretty much all I brought is water. But this is a beautiful place up here. I'm going to do a little exploring today and spend about maybe six hours up here. Once again, it's about 102 and it is a tiny bit humid and I don't know if you can notice but we've had some fires out in California I'm sure all of you have heard about and it's just a little hazy and in the very distance there usually you can see the far mountains on the south side of Vegas but those are pretty hard to see today way out there I don't know if you can see that but definite haze today but still I decided to spend the day up here and we're gonna take a walk well, I am really glad I came up here today, even though it's hotter than hell. But here you can see, this is just beautiful up here. And obviously, I want to look for some uh, rock art. I think I can find some. Here is the medicine wheel I showed you a few weeks ago. But here is a look, and it is really hot out here. So I think we're just gonna have to be smart today. Drink a lot of water. Try to find some shade if possible. But if you notice up here, not a lot of places for shade, but there are a few. So I'm gonna just take it easy on this hike and enjoy a lengthy afternoon out here. But Irma, question mark. Hmm. I was down on the strip last night listening to my friends uh, Jim and Dendel sing and it's always fun down there but up here it's pretty special and if you just listen it's absolutely I don't know if you heard that bird I haven't heard anything in the last 10 minutes but it is perfectly quiet up here. But I did hear a bird just now on cue. Now what did I bring with me? Well, somebody brought this over to our place and left it there. So this is the perfect thing to bring today because I'm all about keeping these cold for as long as possible. I just have water in here, a few snacks, a little bit of fruit. But I don't want to eat too much because if there's one thing that'll dry out is chowing a lot. So on a pretty much an empty stomach. And once I hiked all the way up here, I was just hotter than Dickens, but right now, a little bit of water, a little bit of shade, and I'm feeling really good. And I wanna cool down as much as possible before I start out again. Just be as smart as possible, because I'm planning on spending a long time up here. Well, we've gotten a little further in the hike. And this is something I wanted to show you here. When you're out here, you really have to respect what you're doing and respect nature. But let me just show you here. This looks like a really cool place to explore. The only reason why it's green right here, because this is a wash, there's a little canyon, a little slot canyon. And that might be really cool to explore. But right above here, I don't like the looks of that cloud. And you're, that's the last place you want to be during a rainstorm because all the rain funnels down into the slot canyon. And it can get a couple feet deep, three feet, five feet deep, who knows. But water moving at a high rate of speed down a canyon like this, that is the last place you want to be. And I really don't want to go down there now because if I'm going to be out here for hours, I'm going to be careful. And if it does rain, well, I see a couple inviting places right up here that look really cool. So... If it does rain, I want a spot where I can get to in a few minutes. 
but this looks like a cool place to explore at least for the next little bit but here we are now i want to just go up here a little bit and just check things out this doesn't look cool nothing does but we've got a cloud up here that i don't like so we're going to stay close to some immediate shelter but i want to go up here and yeah i'm drinking water and yeah i'm carrying a little cooler but as Kramer said on Seinfeld about Newman, I can climb like a ringtail lemur. But this is pretty nice up here. Place I've never been to, at least right up here. And on up into here. And I like exploring, so let's go. Well, the sun feels good right now. I'm just up here on a little ledge with a little seat. But that sun feels really good actually right now. There's a nice breeze blowing. It's maybe about five degrees cooler here maybe than down in Summerlin where I live. But here you get a look at some plant life up here. Well, I'm sure it would have been easier getting up here if I wasn't loading about two and a half quarts of water with me at least i don't know how much five six bottles but man it's really nice up here i love being up here certainly better than watching tv at home but i found this nice little area up here a little ledge but am i going to go up further well i'm going to go somewhere but i'm going to be safe but i found this nice little place in here and that looks pretty cool. I'm sure you people are wondering if I think people a long time ago maybe used this as a shelter. Well, I'm pretty sure they did. Places like this were used all over the canyon. And here, but just coming up here, this little ways and being exposed in the sun, I got really hot again. So we're just gonna play it nice and slow and easy. I'm gonna drink some water in here. And just think about my next step. But slow and easy is the theme up here. But do I think about rattlesnakes? Yeah. And they're, they're on my mind, but I'm not, you know, constantly thinking about them. But if I go into a little place like this and hang out, I just want to make sure that there's nothing back here to surprise me. Because that would really suck. All right, I have a visitor. This spot worked out good, and I knew I was going to have to use places like this to cool off just hang out for a bit i was going to be up here all day but certainly a very cool place to hang out um just eating a few strawberries not the ripest but we had them in our fridge it might that tastes pretty good i have to admit and really up until a couple of years ago i had never eaten one of these well where do we go next well I don't know, but we're going to go. And if that rain starts falling, I'm glad I have places like this. But just got to be smart. And there's a bird right there. But the last, the last bit up here, I was throwing the cooler and then climbing up and then throwing the cooler and climbing up. Not the most ideal way to do it, but found another cave just to hang out in here for a bit catch my breath drink a little water but as far as my next steps well I think they might be down around here looks like I can get down pretty easy around the corner after I got up around this little divide here where the climbing isn't so easy but I think that shouldn't be any problem at all well I heard a little thunder up over there and I'm getting reception right here I wasn't earlier down there, but up here I'm getting a little reception so I can check out the radar. 
and just play it safe and it's just sprinkling a tiny bit right now and I'd welcome a little rainfall actually right now. I'm in a perfectly safe place. Well, oh well, it's raining and that was a quick scamper up the side of this rock face here. But I got a little bit of shelter up here. Good place to ride out this rainfall. Let me catch my breath. I'm not sure what I did there, but oh well. It's not a true day up here, unless you get a little bloody. I think I'm gonna put away my phone, but this rain feels really, really nice. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm kind of under an outcrop, but an outcrop, not an outcrop. But it is hailing up here. I don't know if you can see that. Hail in Red Rock Canyon. Nice downpour. I'm thrilled to be up here. Hailing on me. Let's see if I can stop one of these coming down here. Let's see if I can stop one of these coming down here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't think it would hail on me when I came up here hiking, but it's certainly making it for an interesting afternoon. So now I'm way up here, and, well, at least I'm out of the hail, kind of. Ouch! Right in the nads. Well, I don't care if I get wet. Still hailing here. This is a nice little monsoon. I'm sure we have flash flood warnings going on now. Nice day to come up here. I'm starting to see some waterfalls. Am I a little nervous? No, but just got to be smart. Don't sit in the path of flowing water, but I'm up here quite high and undercover presently, but I don't, I don't care if my legs get wet. You can see up here, there's a little bit of tiny blue trying to peek out. Well, the rain's letting up a tiny bit, but you can see here, the water's starting to flow. There's some hail on the ground. I was hiking in 100 degree weather a little bit ago. Now it feels like it's about 75 degrees and it feels wonderful. In a rainstorm in Red Rock Canyon. But obviously, Took a little bit of effort to get up here and getting down on wet rocks. Well, we're going to be very, very careful and hopefully the sun will come out because that'll dry things off up here in a hurry. Well, I came up even higher. I left my bag down there, but just came up a little bit higher. But it is just barely sprinkling out here. But this area here, and I know some people or some things have been living under here. I can see some prints bird prints and what looks like a small animal print and almost a small cat print in there. I don't know if you can see that, but things have been hanging out here and this is a good shelter, but it is just barely sprinkling. And that dry creek bed I showed you, I don't know if you can see that all the way down there, but I can hear the water roaring up here and there's little waterfalls all over the side and you might think, well, that's a terrible day to go hiking. No, I think it's beautiful up here. I love it. I feel rain very seldom living in Vegas. Well, it's just sprinkling, but here, a little bit of shelter, a little bit of dry ground. This was a very nice place to ride this one out. But man, first for me being up here, when a nice thunderstorm rolled through and it reaffirms everything I know about being careful when it's flash flooding out here because down there in that gully I showed you I don't know if I can get a look at this but it's moving down there rocks certainly not gonna go any higher I'm just gonna hang out here till it stops raining I'm in no hurry there are worse places to hang out. 
But man, that was quite a rainstorm and I had to put my phone away when it was really coming down. I was staying pretty dry, but my legs were getting wet and that's fine. But I won't have to worry about getting real hot on this hike and that was my first concern. Now we haven't seen any rock art, but I was right down there riding out the rainstorm and I looked up here and this spot just feels right to me. And I do see stuff carved here. And then I just saw this. Now there is some very modern stuff up here. And that could be modern, but I find that pretty neat looking. And there is something carved right here that very much could be modern, but this is not modern right here. Can you see that spiral? And amazingly enough, that looks like the medicine wheel down there. And I just saw something crawling out of the corner of my eye. I just want to see what's over here. I think it was just a big bug. But, but that right there is a common shape of ancient rock art. And that is certainly some right there. There's a hand right there. I don't know if you can see that, but clearly a hand. And maybe that was put in here before that rock was kind of carved off or lost the top part of it, but there is a hand right there, clearly seen. But here is that spiral. And there is that drawing down there. And there is the hand right there, if you can see that. Clearly a hand right there. And I don't know what that is, that could be a big hand right there at the end. Or that almost looks like a spider. Well, I'm up even higher. And I would walk right out there, but that rock looks really slippery. And it doesn't seem very forgiving on either side, so I think I'll leave the daredevil tactics to another day. But I don't see any more rock art up here, but certainly a pretty cool place to hang out. See a little cactus growing right there. Well, I have been up here in this general spot for about 45 minutes. It was definitely a good place just to hang out and let the rain stop. Here you look. And it seems that things were living in here or camping out in here. But this is a spot that I find very interesting. A lot of big rocks and some ancient rock art and the reason why i say it is that just looks aged to me this one at least does once again we got this carved and then a hand that seems to have been a whole hand at one time maybe but i think that is pretty cool to come up here this far and find stuff like this all we need to do is get down safely and the rocks are starting to dry out but I'm gonna go for it well I just turned on my phone and got a flash flood warning so maybe not the ideal day to be up here but just got to be smart well let's just keep on walking here you see the rocks have pretty much dried out. They were just steaming in the 100 degree weather and then the rain hits so it doesn't take very long for them to dry out. But I'm still looking for some rock art up here. And you just gotta, gotta put your mind in the minds of the ancients. Where would they wanna put the rock art? And I, well, I've been out here quite a while and haven't made as much progress as I wanted today. But we were all the way up to the top up there. But the rainfall, I just wanted to play it safe. But we certainly have water running through here now. And this is a first for me. I've never been up in this area and certainly never seen it rain. But the Paiute Indians, when they lived up here, 
where were their shelters? Well, I certainly think that they would have used some of these natural structures and over there in the main part of the park to have some of these clear uh, cordoned off and marked as ancient habitation sites but that'll give you an idea of how they probably use the natural formations here to their advantage in a pretty harsh environment but right in this area whenever it rained they certainly would have had a water source but there you see in the south valley that rain that was up here a little while ago or an hour ago training cats and dogs in the very south valley right now well it is just sprinkling I found a little cave here with some modern graffiti love life I think that says and something something very pretty modern. neat being up here when it rains and you can just imagine living up in this canyon maybe a thousand years ago and it's been over a hundred for weeks and then you get a rainstorm and you get water and it really I imagine restores life and really it has cooled off about probably 15 20 degrees but I would love if it was dry because I would go explore that cave right there and that just looks like people have lived in there well you can see the water running down here still trickling but I have been up in the canyon about four hours now but I never thought a couple of, a couple hours would be spent way up there riding out a rainstorm but the sun is just about to peep back out well finally down from way up in there and the sun has just stayed on the edge of the clouds and that's kept the temperature very cool but the sun is shining in different parts over there kind of dimly but that certainly made it a lot cooler out here but just down hiking here a little lower a little safer a little easier footing but that was certainly an interesting experience being up on top of there during a hailstorm. Oh, well, I've been just walking around out here seeing if I can find any more rock art. But it's kind of hard to find when you have such vast areas to search. And the sun is finally going behind the mountain here. But this will just give you a look at the scenery out here. It is pretty nice. And I can't think of too many things that I'd rather be doing. Well, here, let me just show you something I found. I'm not sure what this is all about right here. But we got a rock here that seems to have something carved in the top edge here. And there's another one over here. There's another one over here the same way. I have no clue what that's all about. But I just find it fascinating to look around. I'm from Minnesota, the land of 10,000 lakes. And I wasn't sure if I'd like living in Vegas, but it's a whole different kind of beauty out here. As you can see. Well, I've had the phone off for a while and made quite a trek around to the other edge of the rim here. I just, I haven't been up in this area, so watch out for the horse poop. Surprised to see that this far up here. Here's a look, a little prairie down here. And I can hear water flowing in that area but man seemed to really green up in the last few hours well obviously I made it down to some little different terrain and the weather is very nice cool down here but a little campsite down here under a tree and people have been down here there's a little bit of garbage here that I'm gonna clean up before I leave but you can just imagine the people that were out here and you can kind of take your mind back when you're out here and there is not one thing besides the few pieces of garbage that remind you of modern civilization. You can just imagine what it was like for the early Western explorers. It must have been fascinating. They must have marveled at what they saw. 
I don't know if you can see that, but a really small hummingbird in that tree right there, just sitting on the branch. It was just flying above me. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get as close as you can. But a little hummingbird. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Well, I'm back about as far as I probably am gonna go. But it's gorgeous back here. A little sound of water. And that right there seems to be coming right out of the ground. I don't know if you can see that. But that appears to be almost like a spring. Well, I'm almost back at the road. Another half hour hike, but my phone's almost out here. Glad you came along. We got around this place pretty good. Surprised that I got rained and hailed on, but hey, what can you do? But this will give you another look. Beautiful Red Rock Canyon. Glad you came along. Hope you thought this was cool, and you all have a very nice day.